Hello Libra! Uh, this is a reading for the month of October 2021. So uh, welcome and I wish you a happy birthday for those who are going to have a birthday and also a happy belated birthday for those who already had a birthday. In any case, this is a reading for you and for cross watchers. It is general. So take what resonates and leave the rest for someone who needs to hear the message. And let's get started, Libra. Okay, what's next for my Libra? Okay, how many cards? We have three. Okay. Okay. So here we have uh, three cards, okay? So I wanted to only one or two cards, but they gave me three, so we'll deal with that. We have courage, grieving, and healing. It's uh, it's straightforward for me here. You're going through something, okay? Well, you could have uh, lost someone in your family, your sir, your family friend circles, or it could be um, that you are in separation with someone that you love, okay? You're in romantic uh, a romantic situation here. They're telling you in any case that there is some healing, okay? They're coming in to help you, your guys and ancestors are coming to help you and heal this situation and they're asking you to have courage, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo energy, we have strong lying energy here, so for me it's Leo energy but there is some healing, you could be also dealing with an Aquarian with a healing uh, star energy here uh, they're telling you that uh, to be a little bit patient, okay? because healing takes time, okay? Don't don't try to skip the steps. Do your grieving part and your healing part, and have courage and strength, and then uh, focus in the present. Okay, I hear also. All right, let's get a little bit deeper with the tarot. Will, will you? Right? Can we? Can we? Can we go deeper? My God, and sisters, please. Let's get deeper. Speaking for the women's, okay. women's. So if you're in the separation here with someone, um, there is a metamorph metamorphosis here with the butterfly as well. There is a transformation, okay, in this uh, connection for some of you. So it could be that someone is coming back, or it could be that you finally finding. Uh, the answer, you know, of why it happens. So you're going when you're going through healing it here, okay? Let's see. Okay. For the first card, courage. Here we have the six of wands and the empress. So um, six of wands. You see, you're finally standing up. They're telling you stand up. It's not it, it's not all gone. It's not all over, okay? You will find love again if it is what it's going on here. My reading is focused in love, so <clears throat> I will take it uh, as it resonates for you, okay? Um, the Empress here is love, okay? It's Venus energy. It's also growth. There is some kind of abundance here as well coming for you, okay? There's a success success energy energy of success here coming as well okay yeah right now you are single they're telling you to take care of yourself this is the time to nurture yourself nurture your energy nurture your divine feminine if you're divine feminine okay it is time to take control of your life look at that the queen of wands okay so they're telling you don't worry have strength have courage take care of yourself don't worry okay what about the kids really yeah, look at that. Four of Cups. There's definitely someone crying here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. The Wheel is turning for you. And we have the Emperor. So we have the Emperor and the Empress. I do feel that there's a strong uh, counterpart here. A strong feminine, and divine feminine and divine masculine energy in on this board here. You could also be dealing with an Aries, okay? Your divine masculine could be an Aries. For some of you, not for all, okay? But I do feel here that you have to come into your own your own uh, power. You have to find your power. What makes you you? What is makes you like you? What makes you, uh, I don't know, um, Tara? What makes you? Okay? 
what defines you what defines your energy what defines your your power at this time what you want to do as well what about this healing energy Ace of Swords, uh, Page of Swords, I mean. Page of Swords. Seven of Swords. Yeah, see, look at this. Yeah. You went through a lot, I feel, okay? You went through a lot here with this Three of Swords and this uh, Seven of Swords energy here. Someone uh, took a lot from you. Someone took a lot of your energy. Um, there were maybe some, uh, you know cheating energy, uh, lying energy, um, also uh, taking a lot from you, like um, stealing energy, okay? If it's not literally stealing, it could be also taking a lot from your energy, like I said, right? With this page of swords here, um, I feel like there's something, there's a new way of thinking. There, there's something new that you, you come into, like you come across with, okay? There's something that here, while you go through this healing period, you you see things, uh, you have some clarity coming for you, okay? I do see that because look at the bottom of the deck here, of this deck, we have the psychic abilities, okay, and clarity. So exactly what I was saying, there is some clarity here. There is a shift as well with the Wheel of Fortune. And um, this energy here allows you to turn the wheel and to move forward, okay? There's a, uh, an energy of moving forward here with the Wheel of Fortune and healing energy here, okay? And yet you're coming into your own power. You're finally holding your power in your hands, I hear. Libra, finally. All right, uh, what do I want to do now for you? Shall we do a little bit of the end of the rose? Le Norman, maybe. Let's do the end of the rose, Le Norman. What next to my Libra? Tell me. What's coming for them? The sun. Definitely, there is a sun, this energy of happiness. Um, the sun is also healing, you know. Uh, maybe you need to be to take some vacation and go outside, uh, take some some sun bath, okay. Uh, very, um, very uh, energetic for you, okay. It's going to be very important to you. And there's also a um, someone who is uh, connecting with you. The letter is you're receiving a, receiving a message from someone all right uh, so let's uh, get a little bit of the, the island time wellness here let's see what else Twin flame. Yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Yeah, so this is the, the emperor and the empress energy, okay? So once you go through this healing period, this is what's coming for you. Engagement ring. Partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union again. So you have double union here. We have also the sun can be union, okay? So union of two uh, twin flames, of a twin, two twin flames. We have the emperor and the empress as well. But I do feel that you have, a, you have to go through this process. You have to go through the, um, through this process of healing, okay? Of uh, looking for, for yourself, searching for yourself, who you really are. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up the reading with a little message for you guys. I hope that it resonates. If it resonates, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and uh, share and subscribe, and hit that bell button in order to receive more from me, more videos. Okay. 
and I love you guys. I hope that you have a wonderful month. And again, happy birthday. What do we have here? Breathe. Okay, slow down and contemplate the tea. Violets and ah, ivy tangled around the eaves. Ooh. That is very fall. It's, it's, it speaks fall to me. Look, those mushrooms and everything. So uh, for me, it's like, just get a cup of tea. Maybe some, maybe tea will help you with violets, you know, violet tea. Maybe you already do that. And um, also for me, it's like, take some deep breath, you know, um, just take a walk in the woods. It is the perfect time right now if you are in the northern atmosphere, um, hemisphere because um, it is uh, not hot and it's not cold either. So it's perfect to um, do this kind of... Uh, contemplation and meditation okay so um yeah i hope that you love this reading and i see you next time guy i love you bye